Hello advocates and those of you that are not, my name is Mephisto and it is my great pleasure to bring to you today, Planet B <coughs> Planet Base, a game all about building a colony on another planet. Now, I don't like to talk about myself much during my videos because it kind of feels like I'm being a bit narcissistic. I might do it later on in episodes, in other episodes and such, but I love the idea of building a colony on another planet and so this game was basically meant for me. Now, I believe it's in early access, and I don't know if that's actually true or not, but... I believe it said it was in early access, and I'm not sure how true that is, but... Quest... Um... In one of mine, I found, like, the perfect spot. Here we go! <clears throat> but... I did decide that, I have decided, I did decide a long time ago, and have been more deciding in recent years, that building colony, a colony on another planet would be an amazing opportunity, and so for that, this game was made for me. I believe it's an early access, like I said, and if it is, then there are some things that I think that could have definitely made this game better, but I'm not going to harp on them too much until the very end of this, so you can consider this, I guess, kind of a review, but it's still a really fun game, regardless of what I say, what any any negative things I say about it. I do love this game a lot. Okay, now, here we are. We've got th we've got seven colonists and two robots. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start building our oxygen generator. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, now. Next, we need a power thing. We're going to need a power solar panel. No, not construct a bot. I wish I could rename them, by the way. Because they already have names. One is Kyle and the other's Carrie. Carrie's the carrier bot and Kyle's the constructatron. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Alright. Speeding up time, my powers of time control. Woo! It's got great music. I know it's a little bit, you know, it's not like action packed die hard music or anything but it's not supposed to be i mean it's space for god's sake you're building a colony you're not fighting super aliens okay so we're gonna build the canteen next followed by the dorms put the dorms up here a little bit And a lot of the time as you build things, you'll take out little bits of rock that make it easier for you to build other things. Like a biodome, which we need a medium one of. And that. We need this. We need this. We need this. Meteors can stop it now. One. Two. Three water fountains. Ah, ah, ah. I miss that. I'm gonna miss the. I'm gonna miss the original count. Now, for that, we're gonna put beds in here. So we need one. Ah, oh, crap. Two, three bunks. In order to have enough for everyone to sleep in, at least slight shifts, we're gonna take all the tops off of these things. And that, we're going to have the biodome heading this way. Need a medium... Oh, wait, no, we already have a biodome. Crap. Need one rice pad, at least. Meteors can cut it out! I don't know where you landed, but you're getting on my nerves. There we go. Come on, Constructor Bot Kyle... Constructotron Kyle! Build all the things! Like the beds! Okay, fine, Larry. What's your actual name? Will Blevins. Umar Douglas. Roselle Hilson. Emmy Choi. Emma Choi. Whatever. Miguel D. Archer. C.T. Bush. C.T. Bush, everybody! That's right! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't! Leave me alone! It's not my fault I've lost my mind! 
Okay, next. Nope, not storage. Next, we're going to want a processing facility. Can you, can you pop off? Ah, oh, there we go. Now, make you a little bit bigger. I can indeed. Excellent. Now, I want the processing facility fairly close to the biodome, so that way when, um, like, the bioplastic and stuff is logged out, is pulled out and such, it can just be brought straight to the biodome. Move all this crap back. <laughs> well, look at that. Um, what's your name? Will Blevins is actually building things. And he forgets the connector. Good job, Will. You did, you did good, Will. You did good there, pal. You forgot something really freaking important. But at least you did the rest of it fine. We got two of those, and we got one of these. Those all take metal. Next thing that we'll need is going to be a sick bay. Do we have a lab? No, we don't have a lab, but we need a sick bay more. We don't want the sick bay there. Okay, time to start branching off from the, uh... It's time to start branching... <laughs> So I'm start branching off from the blasted... Whatever the heck that thing is. Okay, and then we have our mine right about... Here? There we go. This thing's being used so much, I'm just hearing... Alright, construct a Tron Kyle! Kyle to the rescue! And now we need at least one bed. Do I have another bit of bioplastic? I do have another thing of bioplastic, so what I can also do is... Nope. Oh, I can also build a medical cabinet, which will allow me to store... Medicinal supplies. Excellent. Okay, good. The metal processor's been built. And the last of our bioplastic will be used to build a medical cabinet. Go, base! Go, my beautiful base! And we've reached self-sufficiency because we now have a mine to mine stuff. <coughs> mm. I want to know, though, if I'll be able to build a... Well, that's close enough, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, nope. Oh, I need a. I'm gonna want a lab. I'm gonna want a laboratory. Make a larger lab. Get rid of some of these rocks. And that will be built once we get some more bioplastic. Basically, once the bioplastic is manufactured. Well then, shut my mouth. Call, shut my mouth and call me Slappy. Except that's not my name, so please don't call me Slappy. That's not very nice. And I don't, and I don't like it. Okay, so I'm going to need two more of those. One more bit of metal, which that guy's currently on top of. Okay, good job, guy. Kyle, the Constructotron. That, that's always really worrying. And then eventually I'm going to guess that we're going to be building up into that area. But for the moment, we have a pretty nice area down here. I picked a nice flat space to try and build this base on. Hello, Ka oh no, you're a carry. Hello, carry the carrier bot. And you put that in there. Kind of wish the robots could work on that stuff. They're great at simple tasks, though. They're good at really simple tasks, but don't ask them to do anything complicated. Resources. I don't need your hints. Go away, hints. I'm going to steal some popcorn while you're not looking. You're not looking, right? Good. Mmm. Delicious popcorn. You know, whenever you want to, you can work on making some more bipla. Okay, fine, whatever. Guess not then. Roselle Hillison. 
and Canteen. And C.T. Bush. Okay, so C.T. Bush and Roselle Wilson are women. Cool! For a brief second I saw your name. Umar Douglas. Umar! Cool. Oh, Carrie, you had one job. Oh, good. Uh, Carolyn Mullins is working on it. Okay. So, we're coming down, we're coming up to our um, uh, last few minutes here, so. <laughs> this was a, this is a really fun game if you like those kind of, if you like a kind of resource management thing. Which I really enjoy. I'm always a big fan of resource management games. They're really fun for me. But I think that and if and this might be an early access again and like I said, this might be an early access, so they might fix this later on down the line, but I think that something this that this game could do with is the ability to assign your workers to things. Like assign a worker to the fat to the processing plant, assign one to the factory, assign one to the mine, and so and things like that. So that way you'd be able to maximize on the resources and on production of things. Another thing this probably could have dealt with a lot of another thing this probably could deal with more is having a slightly better AI for your colonists, so they don't just kind of run all willy nilly and if they get hungry, not suddenly start to star meteor. You can stop that right now. Not suddenly, not suddenly start to starve because there's a bit of a line at the at the cafeteria. I'm going to slow this down back to normal speed for the rest of the time that we have together. And also, they don't run. They just kind of jauntily walk everywhere. But anyway, yeah. This is the beginning of the of Mephisto's base delta. Uh, I mean, overall, this game's really good. It could do with some minor tweaks if it's not already if it's not already completely finished. It could do with some minor tweaks. But otherwise, it's it's fairly... It's fairly nice. It's a pretty darn good game. I like it myself. I like the idea, though, so I might be a little biased in that regard. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, smash that like button with all of your strength. Leave a comment. Share this with your friends and family on your social media, like Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, etc., etc., whatever, whatever else you might have you want to use, like Reddit. And hit subscribe, just so that way you can stay up to date on everything we'll be doing. Okay, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day, either today or tomorrow, depending on what time it is for you. And, thank you, Alarm, and I will see you all in the next episode. Later!